We're here at COP25, about midway through, and as you can see behind me, the tagline for this COP is time for action. But we need a lot more action in the negotiating rooms. Week one has ended, which means the technical negotiations are done, but there's still a lot of decisions that need to be concluded here in week two, and it's now in the hands of ministers to take it forward politically. We need to see robust outcomes across the board. And the big ticket item here at COP25 is around finalizing the rules for carbon markets. Ministers and negotiators need to make sure that those rules are robust, that they are not uh, creating any sort of perverse incentives, that there's no double counting of emissions, uh, that it needs to be a transparent system and even most importantly for the vulnerable countries of the world that it creates some sort of funding or share of proceeds for their work on adaptation. With 2020 just around the corner, it becomes all the more important that we have robust outcomes here at COP25. The science, the youth, businesses, everyone across the board are telling us that governments need to step up on their climate action. If not, they won't be living up to their promises made in the Paris Agreement. So, time for action. Let's get to it.